Hello, everyone, and hello, WSD families. I'm Ryan Golner, sign name R on the upper left chest area, Center Director for WESP DHH. WSD has made the difficult decision to continue virtual instruction throughout the second quarter, which will end on January 22, 2021. Once again, this was not an easy decision. Of course, we want to be back in person, face to face. But the safety of our students, families, and staff is still our top priority. In the end, the situation here in Wisconsin as it relates to COVID-19 is dire. Cases are skyrocketing. And predictions for this coming winter do not look good. At this time, it is just not yet safe for us to be back in person. We did disseminate a survey to students, families, and staff on this issue. Again, not 100% of people will agree or be in support one way or another completely. The decision on whether or not to reopen for third quarter will be made again in December when we will regroup and discuss this decision once again. Live instruction will continue four days a week, Monday through Thursday, with the fifth day, Fridays, remaining as independent work days and or planning days for virtual instruction staff. Staff from WSD have been in continuous discussions and meeting regularly throughout the first quarter on the topic of reopening for the second quarter. Staff have been attending Walworth and Rock County's Health Department meetings and engaging in discussions with DPI staff, which have included school nursing, safety, legal, and HR staff, and will continue to do so. We also take into consideration guidance from local, state, and national health experts. I want to take this time to list a few reminders. Local school districts depend on their own local area's numbers in deciding whether or not to open. WSD remains dependent on the numbers statewide. The state of Wisconsin as a whole is not in a good place, which remains a concern. Social distancing requirements, staff absences, and so forth are still a concern for the school, dorm, and health departments. If anyone shows any symptoms of COVID, we are to assume that they have contracted it. It could take families up to four hours to pick their student up from campus. Some after-school activities have been paused since this pandemic began. We know that virtual instruction has been difficult for some families. We are proud of what we have accomplished in the virtual realm thus far. We will continue to work with you in making sure that your child's IEP provides a free and appropriate public education, FAPE, and that it is implemented and carried out with supports in place. We want to be back in person as soon as possible. We are a great school, and we are very eager to have the students back with us. We can't wait, and we're looking forward to that day. We know that in-person instruction is what is best in order for all to learn. We will continue to work towards that goal. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact the school principal, Brian Levens, whose email is listed in the letter sent to you. Thank you for your understanding and for your support during this challenging time.